let us understand the prerequisites of Angular. To learn Angular, you must know advanced JavaScript. You should also know about TypeScript because we are going to have TypeScript files in uh, Angular. So in advanced JavaScript, if you have knowledge on let const keywords, arrow functions, object destructuring, rest and spread operator, and about promises, and if you have knowledge on classes, inheritance, modules, that is enough. And when it comes to TypeScript, if you have knowledge on data types and uh, type assertions and uh, interfaces, again, uh, the, any valid JavaScript you can use in TypeScript. And, but TypeScript uh, features you cannot use in JavaScript. So it will immediately give you an error that uh, this feature can only be used in TypeScript. So these two things are required to learn Angular. To learn Angular, you must know about components, you must know about directives and about routing and navigation and also about services which is very important to make a HTTP call and you should also know unit testing you should know about pipes forms etc so in this course we are going to cover everything from a scratch to advance so we will cover about components directives routing and navigation services unit testing pipes forms deployment of our everything will be covered what is this component components is a building block of our angular so whatever you see on the ui that you can consider as a component so let's say if you are creating a header component or a footer component or a button component that should be a reusable component so say suppose if you are having a button say in the entire application then that button you can uh, create as a separate component now when i talk about directives so, so we do have different uh, types of directives we have structural directives we have uh, uh, custom directives so in this uh, structural directives uh, we will have uh, ng if ng for ng switch so you can dynamically render a content using this directive so we do have routing and navigation also because it is a single page application routing and navigation based on the user action you will be navigating from one component to another component as it is a single page application will be uh, moving from one component to another component when we talk about services in services we will be learning how to make a http call how to communicate uh, with the backend from angular so that part we will be going to cover in services and uh, when it comes to unit testing in unit testing we'll be learning how to test uh, the individual isolated codes because unit testing should be done by developers and uh, in unit testing we will be using mock data to test it so pipes will be making use because uh, to format the data and uh, we do have custom pipes also uh, impure pipes also pure pipes also so that also is uh, required to learn angular and also we do have angular forms in angular forms we have two types of forms that is template driven forms and uh, reactive forms so whenever it is a simple form you should always choose template driven form and when it comes to a complex form then you must use reactive forms data binding is a big concept in angular which is very good concept we do have one way data binding we do have two way data binding two way data binding is very nice feature of angular wherein you can bind the data from view to a component and from a component to a view from both the ways you can update a data so that is a two-way data binding so in one-way data binding we do have event binding we have uh, attribute binding property binding and many more things so these are all things is very much required to learn angular and after learning these topics only you will be able to build the application and you must also know how to deploy the application into a server so you can use any of the servers like uh, AWS, GoDaddy or Azure to deploy the Angular application.